In the English countryside, somewhere between Rugby and Leicester, is a place called Armageddon. And they have really quite a lot of tanks, and if you pay them money, they let teams of three members of Her Majesty's general public crew them. I emailed the first two chaps I could think of who lived in that general area, and after a few seconds they both said yes, and so I had a crew. Anyway, so uh, here, are, here are the elite crew here. They're not elite. Mmm, <laughs> muzzle break. First, of course, we had to be fully trained. Most commonly they're used for a personnel carrier, of which you'd have these seats along each side. You can have up to 12 people in here, including the driver and the commander, for up to two days straight, all hatches closed. Don't believe they did that commonly, however, they could be in there for up to that long. Um, okay. I'm just trying to think now, it's a bit, it's a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, now, it weighs around about uh, foot 15 tonnes without the turret. With the turret, it weighs about 17 tonnes. Now, although it does weigh quite a lot, it can still actually get to about 40 miles per hour per, uh, on road. Now, we're not going to get anything like that. However, when we're going round, it is fast enough, trust me. Here's my colleague, Jeremy. In the front there, Mark, who's having the first go at driving, has just been given his instructions. Are you guys ready? Just so you guys know as well. And we were off, hurtling across the countryside. And yes, all right, gently does it. It's his first time. You may have read that moving in a tank feels like being in a ship at sea. Confirmed. out of the turret felt the drafts of hot air coming out of the vents on the foredeck. Next was to try the same thing but with seat down and hatch closed. If people talk at normal volume, this is what they sound like. Are you guys doing all right back there? Yep. How are you finding this driving? It, it's so smooth I nearly fell asleep. <laughs> Then it was my turn to drive. No, that didn't happen. Two sticks with like a handbrake type lever on the top. We've got various things for starting the engine there. We've got dials, rev, rev counter. We've got speed here. Here we've got the gears. The other side of that is an engine which is pretty hot. And at the bottom here, I've got a dead man's uh, pedal for sh shutting off the engine, so I'm supposed not to touch that. And this big thing here is the accelerator. These are the brakes. And um, we've got lots of, lots of things to hit your head on, lots of sharp edged things. Okay, I'm now going to be shut up, and we're going to see what I get to see through the periscope. With my little, little windscreen wipers, that is my view through the front periscope and my head I'm too tall for this vehicle my head is jammed right up against the uh, the hatch here but fortunately there's a big pad on the inside of the hatch okay let's give this a go and my driving was fine thank you very much I've just driven both uh, hatches up and buttoned up and uh, now all I have to do is swap Jeremy uh, swap with Jeremy he's now taking the driver's position there and uh, I, all I have to do is get into his position. Let's see how easy that is. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it much better this time. <laughs> Ah, 
This vehicle to learn gunnery. His ex army. Come on, they're back to focus already. Fire when ready. <laughs> you move that pigeon. A ping pong ball, I think it's been sealed with a hot glue gun and it's filled with paint. And this is what we're going to be shooting at that target. Mind your head. So here we are, buttoned up. We've got one casualty already. Ow. What did you do, Mark? <laughs> Trapped it on the seat, like they said they would. All right. Okay. Have you read that warning? Yes. Okay. It's going to kill someone. Right. So. so don't do that. No. And there's there's your periscope, and here's my periscope, which really doesn't show me a lot. Okay, on the right there, which they've got a view of somebody's leg, but you can see it's pretty limiting, and it doesn't swivel. It doesn't swivel. It's just fixed there. So I really can't see. How I, f I spot a new target if I can't swivel my periscopes and I don't have a periscope in my hatch. Uh, oh, I do, however, have a tiny bit of room to look through, Can I, but I can't get there because the top of my helmet stops me. There were once more periscopes in the roof of the turret, but the people here thought that there were just too many things to bash our heads on. The only periscopes in our vehicle that moved had been added to the instructor's hatch. And there are wonderful things for bashing your head on. I'm particularly impressed by these unnecessarily long bolts that hang down uh, from the, the turret ring into the main crew compartment. They, they must bang so many heads so often. But everything, everything's got a completely unnecessarily sharp corner on it. Um, this, is, this, is, this is tank engineering. Makes a man of you. Absolutely. Look, everything, everything's just sharp edged. Now, you see that control panel just there? Uh -huh. Now, this isn't how they would have had it back in the day, but this is what we've done. So, you see it says number one just there? On the control, the two black buttons, number yeah. one and number three. Yeah, click number one. Okay. Now, you can hear the gas going out of the back kind of certain into this. Open this up, this is what we call number two. There we go, and then put one ball in. Close it again? Yeah, close up, and then once you've done that, I want you to shout loaded. Loaded? I don't know. Was that a shout? <laughs> louder. Come on, louder. Loaded. There we go. That's <laughs> oh, oh, loaded. Right. Exactly. Okay. Now remember, in the battle, the you know, the, the engine's running. Gonna be yeah, shouting, yeah. engine's going to be running. Who knows? Paul might be crying. There's going to be a lot of different <laughs> stuff going on. So you've got to make sure you're nice and loud so each other can hear you. Now, Lloyd, in a second, yes. I'm going to want you to shout fire as loud as you can. When he does that, what I need you to do is click number three. But hold on, I want to see where this goes. So, when you ready? Shout Firing. Fire! Okay. There you go, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. On. You sure? Okay. I'm on the centre of that target. Height, bring it down two turns. One, two. There we go, that's about right. Now get that gun loaded for me, please. Load the gun. Okay, one. There we go, now load up the stick of gun. Two. When you're ready, shot loaded. Loaded! And then shout fire when you're ready. Fire when you're ready. Bullseye, good shot. All right, get that gun out to the left. Oh, okay, I, I hand, immediately hand the thing over. While well, he's doing that, click number one. one. Get that gun loaded. Okay, Center of target. Up one turn. Up one turn. Up one turn. Now we are. Come on, you've got to be faster than this. The enemy is shooting at Come on. Loaded. 
Firing! Firing! Now we Yay! Got a good shot. Excellent yeah, shot! Well done! Right. Three for three! Now, just so you know as well, Bigger. you don't have to shout firing when you click fire. As soon okay. as he shouts it, click I know, it. I'm excited! <laughs> 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 it, does, it does help it, but in the battle you've got to be quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. These seconds can count okay. a lot. Thank so, God our army doesn't have to film themselves while they're doing this. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is swap over. So Lloyd, would you get okay. down for me and you hop over? Yeah, okay. Right okay. Out my position. That bit was an easy bit. All in there, come on guys, gotta be quicker than this. Elevation please. Bring it down two turns. One down, one turn. Other way, other way. There we go, that's about right. Firing. Bullseye, good shot. Get that good man to left, bring it up two turns. Firing. Yay. We're aligning the, the turret to point forwards. Okay. And now we're pointing forwards. Have the lock, which locks okay. into the teeth. I'm with the team now and we're forming a battle plan. So far, the battle plan looks like this. <laughs> but it'll improve. The average is seven. So get it more than seven. It's above average. <laughs> I'm okay. expecting, let's do above average later. <laughs> well, I'm expecting 12. I want a winner today. I've won one, I believe, out of my three. So I want to win. Good luck, like, sir. <laughs> Now it was time for war. We took our crew positions, started up the engine, and set off to find the enemy vehicle. This wasn't very difficult as we both had compulsory starting points. Now, you wouldn't want to be hit by a high speed ping pong ball filled with paint, so the whole battle was played out hatches down. I had fondly imagined stalking the enemy using folds of ground for cover, but that might lead to a head-on crash, so the two vehicles were given parallel paths to stick to, with a safety forbidden zone in between. Okay, lads, let's get going! Go, 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 get that good round!
Because I got six. Yay! Or seven. He said six, six or seven. Six, really? six or seven. My good. Are those, were those your chess teams as well? Huh? Were they your champions? They weren't the instructors, they were another team. Oh, okay. They won the last game they played. Uh, so, well done! Actually,